The Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa 2 is not an inexpensive tire. A rear tire runs between $195 and $275 depending on the size of the tire and a front tire will cost you about $165. So these are a premium tire for sure, but are they worth the price? Before we jump the gun and make a snap decision, let's quickly review the history of these tires, what they're meant to do, how they fit into the Pirelli range of tires, and how they meet their performance goals. The Roaster Corsa 2s were released in 2018 and are the successor to the Rosso Corsa. The Rosa Corsa 2s were developed because new bikes are more powerful and are coming outfitted with more sophisticated technology like ABS, traction control, lean sensing, brake control, and it's allowing more riders to reach higher lean angles and faster speeds. And Pirelli needed a tire to meet this new demand. Compared to the original Rosa Corsa tire, the Rosa Corsa 2s will give you better lap times, longer tire life, better dry handling, better wet handling, and overall, better race handling. Now, let's take a quick look at the full range of Diablo tires. At the top of the heap are the Diablo Superbike, Diablo Wet, and Diablo Rain tires. These are specifically built for track environments and are not road legal. Then we have the Diablo Super Corsa SC V3, the Super Corsa SP V3, and the Super Corsa SP V2, which is the predecessor to the SP V3. This range of tires are essentially track tires that just happen to be street legal. These are for riders that frequent the track and that don't want to swap out their tires for a Sunday burn. And that brings us to the Diablo Rosso Corsa 2s. These are a hypersport tire built to deliver performance on the street first and also to deliver performance on the occasional track day. In 2018, these tires won the Motorrad Magazine Hypersport Tire Test. These tires use a new tread pattern with slick sections at the edge for optimized contact patch at high lean angles and along the center to ensure you're getting optimized forward drive. Then we have the Diablo Rosa 4 Corsa, Diablo Rosa 4, Rosso 3, and Rosso 2. And these tires are iterations of high performing road specific tires. Now let's talk about the construction of the Rosa Corsa 2. There are a number of things that make this tire special within the Pirelli line. And to start, it was the first tire from Pirelli to use a multi-compound construction. The front tire uses a bi-compound makeup and is broken out into three compound zones. The sides of the tire, zone one and zone three, use a 100% silica compound. High silicone content helps with tire wear and increases wet weather performance. In the center, is 70% silica and 30% carbon black. The rear tire features a tri-compound makeup broken into five compound zones. The center is 70% silica and 30% carbon black. The middle two sections are 100% silica. And at the edge, we have a full carbon black superbike compound that's designed for maximum grip at high leaning. So these tires leverage Pirelli's learnings from the World Superbike Championship. And a lot of these learnings have been applied to the carcass or inner casing of the Rosa Corsa 2. These tires use a lyocell fiber casing or carcass, and it's stiffer than the fibers generally used in street tires. And Pirelli's managed to make it flexible enough where you can still absorb some bumps on street riding. So how do these tires perform? Let's start with the strong points. And these tires warm up very quickly. And that's because they're built for street riding, right? where more often than not, uh, they're not going to be used in a way that gets them up to proper race temperature. We're talking long straightaways, stoplights, things like that. So the performance needs to be available and is available right out of the gate. These tires work fairly well in cold conditions and in wet conditions. But if you live somewhere like the UK or somewhere that rains a lot, a tire like a Michelin Road 4 or Road 5 may be better suited to that kind of climate. And these tires are great for the casual track day rider, right? This is the, the guy or gal that goes to the track once or twice a year, wants to have some fun, develop their skills. The limit of these tires is high enough 
where the majority of or average riders uh, won't be able to either reach or exceed the limit of these tires so you'll be able to have some fun now if you're an avid track day rider with a lot of experience you'll find that the performance of these tires falls off pretty quickly once you've reached the limit of the tire meaning they won't last long at a full race pace so if you fall into this category of rider something from the super coarser range of the Pirelli Diablo line might be a better fit for you. And how about tire longevity? An average rider in average riding conditions can expect between 4,500 and 5,000 miles from these tires. Now, if you're riding hard every day and hit the track a couple times, uh, you can expect less miles out of these tires. No rocket science there. Considering all this information, are these tires worth the price? The feel-good rationale is that Pirelli has set the goal of using over 40% renewable materials, 3% recycled material, and less than 40% of fossil-derived materials by 2025. So if sustainability matters to you, the extra cost may be worthwhile. And if you like to ride hard and do plan to hit the track, these tires might be right for you. On the other hand, if you like to ride at a more relaxed pace and find yourself riding mostly to and from work or to the local ice cream joint <laughs> maybe look at something from the angel line of pirelli tires they'll cost you a little bit less up front and they will last you longer or look at a touring tire from any other manufacturer and if you found any value here leave a like subscribe and stay tuned for the next one